Grace to All, we have a brand new program that we're so excited about and it's Slam Dunk the Junk. And I know that sounds a little weird, but the initiative is to clean up our city around our schools and our neighborhoods. It is an educational process that involves our children and our city. Slam Dunk the Junk. We do not want to litter anymore. We want to have a clean city. So what we need to do is for everybody to understand, do not litter. Pick up the trash around your home and wherever you might see it. Let's have a clean, clean city. A city that invites people, invites industry, and that we're all extremely proud of. It is our image and it is where we live. So let's keep around where we live very, very clean. So I encourage each and every one of you, slam dunk the junk. Thank you. Hi, I'm Officer Howard with the Pine Bluff Police Department. The mayor and the police chief have partnered together for a campaign, slam dunk the junk. We want to target the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, teaching them to pick up their litter. We want them to keep their neighborhoods clean, keep their schools clean, and keep Pine Bluff clean. We want them to take pride in their city, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. So always remember to slam dunk the junk. Jeff Hubanks, Chief of Police for the Pine Bluff Police Department. Slam Dunk the Junk is our program where we're raising awareness about littering. If neighborhoods look clean and neat, they are less inviting to the bad guys. And schools should be kept neat, so we want the kids aware of that. Don't litter, and if you see someone else litter, pick it up. So Slam Dunk the Junk. Good afternoon, sixth graders. We are glad to have our guests here this afternoon. I know there's one person in this group that you all are familiar with, and that's Officer Howard from the Pine Bluff Police Department that used to be a part of Robert Moorhead Middle School body, the family here at Robert Moorhead. Uh, Officer Howard and the Police Department are here uh, to share something with us and make sure I get it right, I think it's called Slam Dunk the, the Junk. What that is, we're gonna load in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna turn this over at this time to one of the officers. Hey y'all. Hey. How y'all doing? Fine. So as she said, many of you all know Officer Howard. So can y'all say hi? Hi. Okay, we need y'all help today. Y'all think y'all can help us out? Yeah. Okay, Officer Howard. Tries out for the basketball team every year for the Pine Bluff Police Department. And unfortunately, every year she's unable to make the team. Now she says she's been practicing and working on the skills. So we want you all to help us judge her today to see do you think that she has what it takes to make the team or do you think she needs a little more practice? Can you help us with that? Yes. Okay, Officer Howard, you're gonna show us what you got? Yep. Okay, like she said, I've been practicing, y'all. I got my Michael Jordan. <laughs> okay, LeBron, I don't know what, what, what LeBron do. Okay, so I've been practicing, okay? Let me know if I have the skills to make it this year, okay? Okay, hold on, let me put on my, uh, lucky, my lucky bandana, hold on. This is gonna make it official. That's right, that's right. Okay, and I took uh, Sergeant Bradley's jersey. Don't tell him, okay? If y'all see him, don't, don't tell him. Okay, but here I go, okay? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, here I go. Oh, 
it? Get some walked, huh? I'm out of shape. I do. Okay. Okay, so I can't slam dunk a basketball. But what I can slam dunk, I can slam dunk the junk. Now, what's that? What's that? Y'all don't know, I ain't even told y'all, I ain't even told y'all. Okay, yeah. So today we're talking about littering. First I'm going to start off with some facts about littering. Okay, litter carries germs. The rodents and insects get into the litter and carries germs. So the, who's up, first of all, who, what, what is littering? When they throw trash, when they throw trash down and just throw it out without picking it. Okay, oh. they throw trash down and don't pick it up. What's littering? I don't pick it up. Yeah, they throw it down and they don't pick it up. Exactly. That's that's littering. Good job. Okay, so littering is placing trash where it doesn't belong. Throwing chip bags. Soda, paper, all on the ground. Littering. Be honest, who's littered? Who? Now I know there's more. There's more than that. Who's littered? Okay, so most of you guys have littered, right? Okay, so today what we're doing is basically teaching you guys why it's bad to litter. Because in the end, we want you guys to take pride in your school, take pride in your neighborhood, and take pride in your city. If we don't keep Pine Bluff clean, who's going to do it for us? Nobody. That's who. Nobody. So, that's why we're here today, to let you guys know that it's time to keep Pine Bluff beautiful. Okay? All right. Another fact about littering is it's an eyesore. Does anybody know what that is? Nobody? Basically, it's ugly to look at. Nobody wants to look at your trash, right? So if you guys litter out here in the courtyard, who wants to come up to your school and see all that litter? Nobody. Nobody wants to see that. So you guys should take pride in your school and pick up your trash. Okay, how much do you think it costs the United States in one year to pay for people to pick up litter? Lucy. $500. $500? A lot more. Right here. One million? A lot more. Right here in front. $2.3 billion. Woo, you said that like you knew. Eh, wrong. Okay, but I'm going to tell you, it is $11.5 billion. Say it one more time. $11.5 billion that the United States has to pay to pick up litter. Now, I don't know about you guys. But I can think of a lot of things I can do with $11.5 billion besides pay for littering, right? Okay, we could use it for parks. We could house, have houses for the homeless, after school programs, just different things. What would you do in the red? What would you do with $11.5 billion? Yeah, you. Uh, first, I buy me a car, then I buy me a house, then I buy my mama a house, then I make sure she stay and the rest of it. What's great? Just great. <laughs> make sure she got everything she needs. Okay, okay, so exactly. We could all, I'm sure, 
think of a lot of things we could do with that much money besides pick up trash, right? Okay, another fact about litter is a lot of the times if you dump it in, like if you go fishing or something and you dump it in the water, a lot of time it leads to the ocean. So when it gets to the ocean, it kills a lot of wildlife. So fish, octopus, whale, everything that you see in the ocean, litter kills. Not all of it, of course, but it can kill uh, animals in the wildlife. Another, where, where do you put the trash? Where is it supposed to go? Where? Okay, so that tells me everybody knows where it's supposed to go, right? Okay, so if you know where it's supposed to go, how come you guys don't do it? Because I've been here. I know what y'all do. So, but you guys are saying you guys know where it's supposed to go. In the trash, in the dumpster. But do you guys do it? But you guys are going to start, right? Okay, so from now on, you guys are going to... Look at my trash. Y'all are going... When I say slam dunk, you guys say the junk, okay? Okay, so from now on, you guys are going to slam dunk the junk. I made it. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so if you see litter on the ground, what should you do? Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, so we're going to... Slam dunk. Good job. The, I made it. Woo -woo. Okay, so from now on, you guys are going to slam dunk Good the job. junk. Another thing besides the trash, where else can you put it? Recycle. Recycle. What's recycling? <laughs> did, did I pick on you? Right here. What's recycling? It's using something good for a better use. Using something good for a better use? That's good. What's recycling? Um, plastic, like plastic things like bottled waters. Exactly. That you can recycle plastic and bottled water. Lucy, what's recycling? You can recycle stuff that you um, use. All, I mean, use and you can reuse. Exactly. So basically, that's what recycling is. When you use something and you reuse it, that's recycling. Do we have a recycle place here in Pine Bluff? Yes. Yes, no, maybe, don't know. Okay, yes we do. We have a recycling center here in Pine Bluff. It is 1800 East Harding behind Pope Furniture. So, if you have paper, plastic, metal and glass that you're not using anymore, you can take it there and recycle it. How do we stop litter? How do we stop littering? You're the only one that knows. Tristan, how do we stop littering? That's it, that's simple, right? Stop throwing it on the floor. Okay, if you don't throw your trash on the floor, you won't litter. So from now on, Y'all ready? We are going to slam dunk the junk. I made it. Y'all see? I made it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, don't litter. That's probably more, one of the most simplest things ever. Don't litter. Don't do it. Okay. Be an example to others. So if you don't litter, maybe your friends won't litter, maybe your family won't litter. And if you see them littering, just say, hey, do you know what takes $11.5 billion to so pick that up? You know, so basically, be an example. Another thing is at least, you can at least pick up one piece of trash. Every, everything counts. So if you see trash on the ground, Pick it up. Another thing is to close trash bins. You know, out, outside, they're the ones that have the lids. If you keep it open, sometimes the wind gets in there and throws it on the ground. Dogs, raccoons, just 
Y'all ever seen a raccoon in your trash? Is that just on TV? I never seen one. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, I haven't seen one in mine, but I just seen it on TV. So if you close the bins, you know maybe the nothing will get in there. And ask your friends and your neighbors to clean up their litter. So we're gonna ask our friends and our neighbors and our family to slam dunk the jump. I made it again, what? I think I'm getting good. Okay, so in closing, we've learned about litter, about how it carries diseases, how it can kill wildlife, just, and it's just nasty and ugly to look at, right? Did y'all yeah, hear me say that stuff? Yes. Oh, maybe some of y'all asleep. Okay, so from now on, basically we're here to teach you guys to, like I said, take pride in your school, take pride in your neighborhoods, take pride in Pine Bluff. Can you guys do that? Yes. Okay, so from now on, all of y'all are going to slam dunk. I cheated, but I made it. <laughs> slam dunk the junk. So we're going to come back and we're going to see if Robert Moorhead is really <laughs> slam dunking the junk. Okay, we've been going to all different schools teaching the same thing. So we're gonna see which school is taking heed and actually picking up their litter, okay? Okay, so do you guys promise me from now on that you guys are going to slam dunk? No. Oh, y'all can do better than that, y'all can do better than that. Okay, slam dunk. No. All right. Thank you guys. You guys have been a great crowd and see you guys later. Anybody? Let's give Officer Howard another round of applause. And here at Robert Moorhead, we're going to do what? Slam dunk. All right. Officer Howard, when you come by our campus and if you see some trash, just know that we're in the we're getting ready to slam dunk our drum. I'm not gonna leave it out there. We're gonna do better. Students, I appreciate you in your attendance. I appreciate you giving respect to the adults in charge. And this is what we do here at Robert Moorhead, and we're so proud of you. We're so proud to have had Officer Howard as a part of our team, and we just knew that she wouldn't leave us out of this. Um, slam dunk to jump opportunity because we want to get it right for the city of Pine Bluff here at Robin Moorhead Middle School. And I say thank you to the Police Department of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then we're good here at Robin Moorhead and we have a mission that we're going to put forward here at Robin Moorhead Middle School. We're also going to include our 7th and 8th grade. We're going to talk about the importance of slam dunking the jump. The jump here at Robert Moorhead. Thank you.